Now, I want to move over to a new segment for you guys where we can really talk about players in buckets, maybe not so much individual breakdowns, but a game this week in, in week 12 where we're going to find the most fantasy value. So we can talk about multiple players, talk about the matchup itself, um, and we'll each kind of go through uh, on both sides of the ball uh, a certain game uh, that we like and then kind of break it down from there in terms of the players. Uh, Alex, give us your game with the most fantasy value in Week 12. Well, this one for me is easy. It's, it's two of the teams that have really bad pass defenses going head-to-head, -head, and it's the Buccaneers against the Falcons. Atlanta is actually a four and a half point favorite in this game. <laughs> after after their bye week, they've come out incredibly strong with two dominating performances. But this one's a 52 point over under, incredibly high, the highest over under of the week. And there is just talent loaded on both sides of the ball. And I think if your whole fantasy roster was in this game, you actually would probably pull out the win this week. You've got Jameis Winston and Matt Ryan at quarterback. You're starting both of those guys uh, at the running back position. Brian Hill had a really disappointing game last week. He was actually my start of the week, and that was due to his usage. Um, and he ended up getting 15 carries and, and 16 total touches, but he just didn't do a lot with it. So I think this week, in a well, the Buccaneers' uh, rush defense has actually been pretty good. So Hill is probably a borderline flex this week. It depends on your options. Uh, I think Ronald Jones is flexible from the Tampa Bay side. I think he'll bounce back. Uh, if you have Mike Evans or if you have Chris Godwin, their auto starts at this point. Julio Jones is an auto start for the Falcons. I think Calvin Ridley has earned his way to auto start status, especially in this matchup and especially with the volume that he's been seeing. And then I think I think you can even start the Falcons defense um, against Tampa Bay, who has turnover central himself, Jameis Winston. Uh, the Falcons D has come on really strong since that bye week, shutting down New Orleans and then shutting down Carolina. So I think in this game, you can even start the Falcons D. They're going to give up some points, but I think they're going to create some turnovers and could even get a defensive touchdown. Yeah, there's there's fantasy potential all over this game. It's a game that has shootout potential, like you said, highest over under the weekend. And one guy I really think that, that I want to take some time to break down here because I think he's an extremely safe pick. I've seen some questions on him actually on Twitter and on Reddit uh, over the last week, which is Matt Ryan. Uh, you know, Matt Ryan's against the 31st ranked Tampa Bay defense. So a super easy matchup. And Drew Brees was in a very similar situation to Matt Ryan coming off a recent injury. Uh, and he just completed 80% of his passes for 228 yards and three touchdowns against the Buccaneers last week in week 11. And he's another guy just like Drew Brees, Matt Ryan is with vast NFL experience. He's We've seen him play at MVP level at times, uh, and he's a veteran franchise quarterback. So I think you're going to get the same thing we got out of Drew Brees last week, which, which was a great quarterback start. I think we're going to get that here with Matt Ryan. And, you know, we know there's there's shootout potential in every Buccaneers game. So, you know, lock in all the players here, Alex. I think you touched on, on most of them. I think they're great starts. Love the Falcons defense this week.